All right, welcome to the React.js fundamentals. In this uh, uh, video, we're gonna make an introduction to React, all right? So, what is so cool about React and what I just, I like it so much. The first one is because it's just JavaScript. When you learn React, all you do is basically just type JavaScript. You don't have to learn like a specific framework or a specific way of doing things or a specific language like Angular or Vue.js. No, with React, you just write JavaScript and that is, that is, that is the best part of it. That is, you just, yeah, you just become a better uh, JavaScript developer. And I really, really like that. Now, for example, this is how it looks on React, right? If, if I want to show a list of uh, restaurants and I have an object called restaurant, I just map through it, which is a JavaScript, um, function for arrays and I just return some HTML. So I'm not doing anything that is not just JavaScript. Everything that we do in React is just JavaScript. It's just functions, objects, and um, functions, objects, variables, that's it. So you don't learn anything that you won't use if you stop uh, using React. For example, if you stop using React, if, if you learn Angular, for example, and you stop using it, then you cannot use ng repeat anywhere else, for example. So that kind of sucks because you will have to learn a different framework again. And then this framework has a different uh, mini language that you have to learn and that you can only use here. On React, you just use JavaScript. So you don't have to learn anything new. Just keep using JavaScript. And the good part is that that's gonna make you a better uh, JavaScript programmer because you will just only practice JavaScript. And the best part of React is that it enforces good practices. So that is, fucking, so that, that, that is super fucking cool if you ask me. Now the other one is composition. The, the composition part with React is my favorite feature because it helps you keep your um, components and the parts of your application or your website separate. So this is how composition looks. For example, this is the Instagram profile that we see on the website, right? Now, if you look at it, <clears throat> if you look at it, you can see that we have a, a navigation here, a header here, numbers and grid, right? And these are all components. We can all do this with components. And that is, that is super cool because it means that I can encapsulate HTML in small pieces and just put them all together. All right, so that is composition. It's my favorite part of React because you can make everything a small component and you just make, you just focus on that component and when you're done, you can use it everywhere else, All right? So for example, the navigation, this is how it will look with React. It's just a JavaScript function and we'll return some, uh, some JS, JSX. JSX is the way we write HTML on React, but that is, it's super simple. It, it looks exactly like, uh, HTML just with small some small properties. Now look at this one header. The same thing. You just function header return blah blah blah, right? So super cool. Uh, this is the part I like the most because it allows you to write components like this that you can use everywhere else. All right. Now the other one is that you have a unidirectional data flow. This means that the data is only in one place and can only be changed from one place. If you have something like Angular, the data can change from the view or the model, right? In React, the data is on the state, the UI displays the data, and if the state changes, the UI updates. So the data changes the UI. The UI never changes the data, all right? So it's unidirectional, only one way. Again, the data changes something, and if the data changes, the UI updates. If the data doesn't change, well, the UI doesn't change. But if the data changes, the UI updates with the new data. But there is no way you can change the data from the UI. You have to go always like this, data, update UI, change data, update UI. There's never like from the UI, update the data, all right? So these three things are why I like uh, React so much. Now. Why do I also use it? I use it also because of the big, big community it has. It's just insane how many questions and answers and libraries and open source stuff. 
that there is in React. It's just amazing how many there are, right? And another thing you have to understand is that React is not a framework. React is a UI library, so it's different. You can use React with Angular. You can use uh, React with Ruby on Rails. You can use React with like many things. Uh, I'm sorry, no, 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 with Angular. I'm, I'm full of myself. You can use React with, if you want, with Python. You can use React with Angular, uh, uh, Ruby. You can use React with like anything. It's just the view, the V part, right? Many frameworks are uh, MVC, model, view, model, view, controller. React is only the V. You can mix it with whatever you want. Whatever your model and whatever your controller is, you can mix it with React. I mix React with Django, and I mix also React with Ruby on Rails, and also you can mix React with uh, Node.js. All right, so React is only the V part of the, um, of the spectrum. I guess that's it. Uh, yeah, so see you on the next one.